And now I believe we have a crowd here wanting to see some Grand Poo World 2. So let's do it. Here's Grand Poo World 2 for Dream Bench. Flower power. Good luck. What's up, guys? I'm Mitch Flower Power, and this is Noble Tofu. I'm Graham Pooh Bear. Whoa. <laughs> I'm Barbarous King. And we are doing. Uh, come on, come on. <laughs> and this is Graham Pooh World 2. Can I get a countdown from you guys? We're starting from five on go. <laughs> I forgot the five. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah. So for those who don't know, um, this man right here to my left, Barber's King, he made this game. I so, made this. Yes, he so made I this. Made he face. literally yeah. made this game. Face. <laughs> yes. You uh, made this? I made this. So we're going to delve deep into your uh, mind brain. The mind brain. All right. Into some of these <laughs> levels here. Okay. I'm going to die a lot here. Yes, this is not on an easy game. Every level all over the place. Also, I should mention, I will be donating uh, $10 uh, to the event for each death Mitch takes, so... <laughs> Hopefully, he doesn't die that often. So yeah, this is uh, Grand Portal 2. This is the game I made. Uh, one thing that we should say about this game is that everything in this game is very, very difficult. It is one of the hardest Kaizo games ever made, and the fact that it's at a GDQ at all is incredible. And uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, so Mitch, Mitch is already crushing it. Oh, nice. <laughs> I can't believe, so, can't believe you just got away with that. I've Grabbing that midway that. is a lot, lot harder than it looks. Uh, and in fact, I think that's the, that's the one trick in this level that most people die on the most, just grabbing that midway. Yeah, I skip the midway. I, <laughs> I don't even get it, and I've never gotten it. He still it's, doesn't know how to get no, it. I, I have no idea. <laughs> he has no it. idea to get it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Some fancy Koopa jumps here. Oh. This final jump. Oh! oh. That was it. Oi! Oi. <laughs> Oof. Okay, I'm not Australian. You guys can't do that. <laughs> that was the last game, guys. <laughs> so yeah, that final sequence, you uh, there's actually multiple ways you can do that. Uh, the intended way is to use all of the Koopas, but if you time your jump, you can actually just use three. It's really, really difficult to line up and really, really tough to uh, actually land. Yeah, it's super tight, that and muncher. Try. There is then, the final troll nice. at the goal. Very smooth. And um, as you can see, that was level one. This game is not going to get any easier going through there. Oh, whoa, getting a little, a little up? beauty touch-up. Yeah, How's getting a little touch-up there, you know? Thank you. <laughs> Uh, this is level two. This, uh, the name of this level is Laser Lifts. It is named after uh, my good buddy Laser Belch, who was in the Blind Kaiser race earlier. And if you guys didn't wait, know this... What's wait, he, wait, what team was he on, though? Uh, he was on the Loser Magicians. Just making sure. <laughs> That's my joke, and everyone's been stealing it. <laughs> but if you guys didn't know this about Laser Belch, uh, he lifts. He lifts a lot. So... This level is essentially just one big auto scroller, right? It, just, it doesn't sound good when you say it like that. I prefer a uh, self-contained moving level, <laughs> you know? So um, the, the theme of this level is that th this one platform you'll escort through the entirety of the level. Uh, and that will continue into the second section as well. Is I, it the same platform? I just in realized it's the same platform. All right, coming up on that part, if you saw that he jumped really awkward there, there's actually a really mean invisible block that has uh, killed a lot of people and caused a lot of laughter for me. Oh my god. It, it, it's the same platform. It is the same platform. I've never realized that. <laughs> I never realized it's the same I just platform. blew their minds. Yeah. Secret. Okay, that so hot lore. Mitch is going to, against, <gasps> against my advice, is going to go for a really, really hard strat that was thought to only be Tats only. If he gets this, who has to give him a lot of money? <laughs> <laughs> No, no joke. This is so hot if he gets this. Ooh. Oh, my God. So normally you're supposed to take that platform, but uh, we're going to... No! Oh, I told you, I told you, I going to do that. Oh, oh, oh it debated me. Yeah. yeah. So that... 
It's, it's not just that, that that's incredibly hard. It's also uh, dependent on RNG because yeah. the uh, the way he throws it is is random. Yeah, that, that's not how you're supposed to do that part. No, <laughs> but uh, literally on, only Mitch only Mitch has ever even successfully done that without a task. So uh, I don't know. Mitch Flower Power just sees games in a way that we do not. <laughs> Yeah. It's yeah, the blue he, hair. He doesn't ask how, he asks why not. <laughs> he went for it once. That's that's admirable. <laughs> he didn't want to cost me too much money on that <laughs> one, <you know? laughs> Which I appreciate. That's good that's true friendship right there. <laughs> Alright, something you might not know if you're looking at this level, it probably looks like, oh yeah, you just put the lines and the platform just goes where you want it to. Uh, when you're actually building a section like this, the platform just will constantly disappear and destroy. So it actually took me a lot of time to make this. I love this part. It's the final jump. Ooh. Very nice. I love how at the end of this level, you already tie it into be a beach right. for the following level. Every, all of them. Right. Yes. So wherever I could, I wanted to make the levels transition into one another because I wanted the world... A lot, of, a lot of times in Kaizo games will just be like, you know, one level leads to another and they have no actual connection. I wanted there to be like a tangible world that felt like a real place. So when you beat that level, you end up at this level, which is the beach. And, and you've noticed the down ramp like went right into it from the last level. I love that. That's like such a, a nice little touch. And also, uh, banger alert on the track right now. Yeah, shout out to Composer. Uh, Composer is... In the ch is uh... <laughs> uh, Composer, Dan the VP, G Gamer, a number of people helped me. I, I'm not a musician. I can't make music. <laughs> and they... they uh, the Grand Portal 2 would not be the same game without their insane efforts. So thank you to them. Oh. Vertical pipes. Vertical pipes. So this part, normally in Mar Super Mario World, the uh, tide only moves left, and it only moves a certain speed. Uh, I actually went through some extra custom ASM work to make the tide go right and go a lot faster, and that's sort of like the general theme here. Uh, this part was one of the hardest parts during the first play, that little <laughs> fish gate. Uh, yeah. Many a player cursed Barb during, that, <laughs> during those moments. Yes. It was, it was maybe the first time, but it certainly wasn't the last time I was cursed. <laughs> A very tight P-switch coming up. With another vertical pipe. In there. You gotta push your vertical pipes in your Kaiser games. <laughs> So yeah, if he had missed that, uh, actually there's a picture of Composer in that level, and it's one of the worst trolls in the game. So, <laughs> send you back there, yeah. <laughs> All right. So if you notice, the hill went up right there at the end of that level, and uh, that'll tie into the next theme. Mm -hmm. Frustrating Spoiler alert. So that little section on the overworld, that's actually uh, that sort of like made the island again, but from a more zoomed out point of view. Again, to try to make it seem like a world that made sense. This level, we're in the snowy mountains. This level features ice physics, and one of the best things you can do with ice physics is be big and uh, force the player to duck everywhere. Uh, there's, there's a little helper block there. That block is only there to guide you on your way. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly <laughs> Absolutely. Exactly um, something I want to point out that's really cool, if you look at the screen, uh, both the timer and the snow disappears when they're actually like under a cave, which is so sexy and such like an awesome little added detail that Barb didn't have to do, but... Even under these blocks, right? Yeah, here. it just yeah. makes it feel like super. I don't know. This cohesive. damage boost here is really tight. Really yeah, tight. Only a few nah, nailed really. Yeah. On the pipe. Isn't there go a left, pipe? Go left. Go left. Yeah, there's a pipe right there. What's oh my god! Secret. So in this game, a lot of people what? like to put little secrets in. <laughs> Other <laughs> pipe. How do I get out? Okay. <laughs> I didn't even know. I didn't even know. People like to put little secrets and Easter eggs in their games, and uh, in this game, there are portraits of all people from the Super Mario World and Mario Maker community that uh, I really love. So I put them pretty much everywhere I possibly could. That's our buddy uh, Link Dead. Shout out to Link Dead. Oh, we really love you too, Barb. Oh well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The insincerity. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I meant that. <laughs> that, that, was, falling that was romance. This is where you reach the summit of the mountain. Ooh, very close. Ooh. 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 
Very that well one done. shot. That was a one shot. Yeah, that was a one yeah, shot. That, that was a one that. shot. That's a very difficult yeah, level. That level to shot. get out of that one shot is like super important. That is that's uh, a frustrating level. Yeah, that's the reset yeah. level. Speeds are really weird with that level. There's a number of orbs in this game. <laughs> There's a number of orbs in this game, and the orb music has actually been substituted for the Ocarina of Time like dungeon clear music. So, pretty much everywhere we there, no we spared no expense on all the details. You had a big music budget for this game. <laughs> uh, this level is titled Thalassophobia because you spend the entire level underwater, and if you actually look at the time, it's a, he, he's on a time crunch. Yeah. yeah, this Mario cannot swim forever. So any one of these pipes, you Mitch will probably avoid them all, but any one of these pipes, if you're pressing down or up in any way, uh, you'll get uh, dragged into a nasty troll pipe. Okay. <laughs> it's really funny. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you should go look up clips of people falling for that troll. Uh, that final dolphin is another helper dolphin that lifts you into the saws. <laughs> So this section, um, I wanted to make, I, I really like making vertical levels and vertical sections, and uh, there aren't too many water sections like this. I don't think I know of any section remotely like this. Uh, this one, you need to use the dolphin everywhere to go, th uh, yeah. he lifts you above the lines of invisible blocks. If I went too fast there, I would have despawned him. Mm -hmm. These part, these blocks are all here to slow you down. They all have bonus one-ups and coins, but those don't help you here. <laughs> those aren't helper blocks. No, they are not. Oh, oh. Oh. It's gonna be really tight now. Oh, oh that's it. Yep. Yeah, so you're on a you're on a pretty tight timer everywhere in this level. It almost sort of feels like you're just mashing on control in the controller the entire time for this level. It really is like one false move and that's it. Like you basically are dead. Yeah, and that's I, I think that's one thing that the uh, Kaizo speedruns they really get a, a really you really get a good sense of how hard all this stuff is. Yeah, like Mitch will beat this in you know an hour and change or even less, and it, it, an average playthrough like some people will play 300 hours and not get five levels in. All right, we're returning to the section we were at before. So when he uses that throw block to kill that torpedo Ted, that torpedo Ted is still actually can kill you even when it's dead. It just sort of moves it out of the way for a little while. <laughs> very nice. There nice. we go. Very nice. Do we have time for a couple donations? Sure. Yeah. All right. We have five hundred dollars from the Running with Speed documentary. Oh. Very cool. Is that and they say it's an honor to be here. Thank you very much for your donation. And we have a $5,000 donation from Unknown Worlds Entertainment. Wow. And they say thanks to Power Up Audio for being an incredible partner and for supporting such an amazing cause. Let's hear for Power Up Audio one more time. Thank you so much for all you do here. Back to you, Barb. Thank you. Prestige worldwide, wide, wide. So we should probably talk about the fact that so Mitch is running a category called Any Percent Good Ending, and we should probably talk about the fact that Mitch is literally the only person who goes this path. Yes. Um, so there's actually a choice that the, this is pretty unique for a Kaizo game. Usually Kaizo games, you have to beat every single level. I decided to give the player a choice, and pass. Mitch is, yeah, pass in this game. And Mitch is literally the only insane person who goes this way. <laughs> yeah, this way is uh, both harder and slightly Ooh. longer, but Mitch prefers it. And so uh, who, are, who are we to question him, honestly? Like, we're not, we're not the ones running this game. He's the one murdering this game right now, you know? It really all comes down to player comfort and... Uh, um, oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> I tried to pressure him into on, a one-frame trick. Pressure. Yeah, one-frame trick, so... Uh, so yeah, those purple bats are actually uh, the so ghost blue stealing. Goomba. I should have thought. <laughs> oh blue no, Goomba. the blue Goomba. <laughs> the Goomba. Uh, <laughs> uh, those purple bats are actually uh, the Whee! sort of like the ghost stealing from uh, various Whee! ghost levels. I, I really like this section. Nope. Oh. I, I almost didn't like it anymore. <laughs> that was like the instant karma. That I very I suddenly happened. don't like this section anymore. <laughs> yeah, you can never compliment your own gameplay in Kaizo because you immediately die. So this section involves uh, bringing the skull rafts with you uh, everywhere. And uh, this first part, these skull rafts are very slow and you have a lot of time to move. The second part, they're a little bit faster. <laughs> yeah, now the ending of this is also uh, very unique and cool and uh, was an ending that I spent like, I don't know, probably like 45 minutes on how to figure <laughs> out. It took me two hours to figure out this trick right this, here. It's, and it's so simple and sneaky. 
Very so. nice. Another one shot. Another one shot. Dude, he's saving yeah. me that money, man. So if you grab that orb, uh, and what matters when you grab orb, there's actually, in that section, if you do grab the orb in a slightly wrong way, you will not catch the skull platform. You will fall in the lava and die. And uh, the look on people's faces, like Boo, when that happened, were just hilarious. <laughs> All right, this level's really hard. Yeah, this is one of the but hardest we need levels. we need to lift our spirits here. So we're going to go ahead. <laughs> secret! <laughs> secret! No <laughs> <That was> secret! <laughs> One of my favorite moments from watching people play this game was when streamers and my friends found their portraits, and uh, Tofu was completely shocked, I think, that he was in the game. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think my favorite one is the Beast, which unfortunately we won't see. But yeah, his the is, Beast is the other path. Yeah, Thank I think you, he made an emote out of that picture. He, he did, yeah, yeah. He made an emote out of it. Some weird thing with us all wearing cowboy hats. <laughs> <laughs> so this section, you're actually going to see a glitch. This is not, uh, this is intended by me. So normally with Yoshi, uh, baby Yoshi requires five eats to grow up into big Yoshi. Oh, that was a little helper fish, by the way. That's helper fish. I love that's what you read named it's them just, too. Well, it's just to make sure you know where you're at. You exactly. Know? Yeah. Um, but in that part, uh, you can actually turn three into five by eating things. Oh, exactly. Oh. Thank that, God. That, you don't kill really Yoshi there. Death. Thank God. <laughs> that jump is very, very difficult. It's probably the most difficult jump in the whole level. And it's right before the midway, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Yeah. Uh, and you're going to see a lot of that, actually, in this game. The, the most difficult portions tend to be the parts right before you would get to safety. That's the best place to put them. Yep. <laughs> That's called comedy, right? That's, All right. In yeah. the level building business, they call that comedy. <laughs> yeah. He's got it. So we're going to see the triple eat again. There you go. It's actually possible to where if you um, don't eat all three of them fast enough, you actually don't grow Yoshi. Yeah, that is true. So what's funny is that that fish sometimes does not respawn, and I, I don't know why. <laughs> sometimes it's <laughs> nice. just not there. Oh, Yoshi. Oh, Follow the coin peace. trail. That's a good idea. Peace, Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> this part's pretty tough, too. Yeah. Shoutouts to Doom. Yeah, There's some Doom music. Uh, big what's Doom weird fan. about the water, guys? <laughs> well, I mean, I think I think it is something we should point out is uh, it's it's pee pee water, and um, it makes everything go backwards. So all of his controls <laughs> in this water section right there that you're about to see are reversed. Yeah, left is right and right is left. It's so hard, and then they go back as soon as you jump out of the water. They reverse back, so it's a very difficult section to navigate. Of course, he just you know does it no problem because he's Mitch Flower Power. Okay, this final jump. If or you're too two. slow, there are falling spikes there, and those those <laughs> those are helper spikes. Funny. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for it. Yeah, helper yeah. spikes. Right. Helper spikes. Well, that, you don't want it. They don't want you to die in the lava. Exactly. You know, <laughs> get moving. I thought my spiral was going to be there. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> no, you're killing it. No, you're, yeah, you're doing great. You are killing it right now. Yeah. <laughs> this is a really good run right now. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm in, I'm in total control in this level. <laughs> All right, so this level, um, I'm, a, I'm a huge Shovel Knight fan, and one of my inspirations was the Propeller Knight level from uh, Shovel Knight. So I added these propellers with the help of uh, Freakin' Ha. Shout out to twitch.tv slash Freakin' Ha. The number one follow on Twitch right there, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely want to follow the stream. Yep. Yeah. And these wind, these uh, the wind coming from the fans will either blow you up or down depending on the section and uh, make it rather difficult. Okay, coming up, we have the best ever pee balloon section. Here it comes. It's over. It's over. <laughs> it's over. It's over. <laughs> I'm going to break your immersion by telling you that the, the propeller actually isn't pushing wind. The propeller is just a muncher that's reskinned to look like it's a propeller. Yeah, the propeller actually doesn't do anything at all except kill you. It's just there to also show you where the wind is. It's, it's a nice aesthetic touch right there. Yeah, there was a, a Kaizo block right there, a very mean one. Do we have any donations? As a matter of fact, we do. We have $100 from Hawkeye1701. That's our shout outs to Mitch, the amazing couch honoring us with our amazing commentary, and the whole incredible yeah. Mario community. Love you all. That level's and so hard. In the pipe, in the pipe, in the pipe. Oh. There was one request oh. there. <laughs> Can we get a get out Ryu's of my room Ryu from Ryu Ryu denied. Sorry, oh my God. Ryu. Yo, Ryu's chat is going to hate you. <laughs> 
I'm sorry. Hey, I'm not getting all the portraits. Oh, man. They're going to let you know how much better he is than, than you this week. Barb. There was a request from Hawkeye. They wanted to know, can we get a get out of my room from you? Uh, just wait and see, you know? We'll, we'll, uh... Get out of my room. <laughs> Whee! Oh. <laughs> All right, Thanks, we should probably Barb. talk about this level. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Dark Souls. Uh, Barb Souls. Barb yeah. Souls. Barb Souls. Barb Souls. Barb Souls. Barb Souls. Barb Souls. If you didn't know, that, the reason why Barb Souls was the name of the Dark Souls 2 save file, that was that was my chat trolling everybody. So, <laughs> I am Barb Souls. I am Barb Souls. <laughs> but uh, this level is called Sense Fortress. There's a lot of Sense Fortress inspiration here. Um, all of these ropes, if you're wondering why is he falling through these ropes, uh, these are tight ropes. If he walks too fast, he will he will fall through the ropes. In some places you don't want to, and other places you do have to. Uh, and you, those will be uh, throughout the level. Yeah, it's one of the coolest and weirdest mechanics in this game, <laughs> and something that took a great deal of time to get used to. Okay. Coming up on the midway here. I also made the midway uh, jump up and down in there, no Very problem. Very nice. No death. Yeah. Okay, these are Bowser's big bouncing balls. Uh, That's their technical term. Yeah. I don't know why I did five. It's, it's four. How many deaths is that? No, nah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so these balls have been uh, edited to uh, move faster, and uh, you'll see that these Bowser's balls just fly everywhere in this level. Y'all, y'all. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> We're 12. There's literally nothing else that could be called. Boulders? They're big. No, they're big giant balls. I mean, they're too smooth for boulders. Yeah. <laughs> where is the point smooth where as a boulder, <laughs> it's a boulder or a ball? <laughs> if it's a dodecahedron, if it's a dodecahedron, it's a... Uh, a boulder. Okay, so Mitch paused right there. He was pausing to re-engage jump quickly so he would not fall through. Wow. Yeah, it's a galaxy brain strat. Definitely. Okay, there's a really nasty uh, door entry coming up. He has to ride the snake man magic over here. And we should mention the ultimate bad guy in all video games is the Very door. nice. I was literally so scared. Like, yeah. That's the scariest No, the door is so... I, I, we can't, like, overestimate how hard that door is. Like, it's so hard. Every single door in this game is really actually hard to go into. And that's not a joke. That is a dead serious statement. So Super Mario World bosses can are pretty stale at this point in ROM hacks. So with a little bit of help from uh, Kaizo Man, who is a literal legend, we have uh, what's called the Cluster Chuck. <laughs> oh, great hitbox. That's right. And uh, boys nice. can get out of hand nice. in this fight very quickly. Uh, Mitch actually is going to handle it wow. really nicely, though. That was Not a over. very, very clean fight. Not over. Not so over. this boss has uh, two phases. First one you just saw. Second phase, he goes um, kamikaze. Nice. Oh, oh, very yeah. nice. Oh, yeah. yeah so, so, now. so Mitch was in a safe zone <laughs> to where he couldn't get hit by the explosion. It's actually really hard yeah. to get up there. And every single person who runs this game has definitely died to that explosion. <laughs> yes, uh, the kamikaze it's, mode. It's, yeah, we've, yeah, we've one-shot the first section and then died to that bomb. It's always hilarious. It's, it's <laughs> funny every time. A little helper explosion, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, a helper explosion and no, you were close. <laughs> <laughs> This might be a good time to talk about the lore, actually, while we have a second. So, Mario is actually, he left Grand Poo World 1 yes. on a ship. It crashed. Um, and that's where the start of the game was. You saw that ship actually crash. And, uh, and now we're basically trying to get off this other island. Mm -hmm. You can actually see the original game's island, Grand Poo World 1 island, from the uh, corner of the map. Right. Yes. And it's uh, another one of the cool things about this yeah. game is it has legit lore in a Kaizo series. Yeah, there's very few Kaizo games that have a kind of connected story or world. In fact, there really aren't any. So uh, I, I kind of wanted to go the extra mile and uh, include that for players of Grand World 1 and 2. Uh, this level right here is, I think, argued amongst anyone who runs this game to be one of the most difficult levels throughout the whole thing. Before we do the level proper, though, we actually have to go backwards to get a secret exit, uh, which we're coming up right here. Secret. This is secret. one of the most stressful levels in the run, yeah. hands down. Uh, also, banger alert, and this is the only... That was not me. That was not me. <laughs> I did not do anything. Reset? It saved. I don't know. Never Don't look that. at me! Before it was the not me! Or the checkpoint, of course. <laughs> Legs up. That's never happened before. 
<laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> I just get the break dance again. I feel like I'm going to end up getting blamed for this. Who <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got news for you. You're already being blamed by Chad right now. I knew it. I knew it. There's, there's, there's poo stomps everywhere. There's no avoiding that. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Oh, my gosh. You know, you build a thousand bridges. No, it crashes. It's, it's crashing here. I'm not sure why. Blow on it. <laughs> Wait an extra second to go in that pipe, maybe. I don't know. Sure, yeah. I might, be, I might be rapping. <laughs> <laughs> We're not... Do, are we counting those as deaths? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it could be the death thing else, too. I, I hope not. That would be my guess, because it has... It had a full I've, I've used this cartridge many times. See, we're not really sure what's happening right now. We're hoping we can stop it. Janky hack, mate. Yeah, janky hack. Oi! All right, now try. No. Nope. The music goes away. I don't know. It could be the SNES. Will it save on the cartridge, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It saved can on the we cartridge. get a... Or... Yeah. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Ah. <laughs> this is Grand Coup World 2. Yeah. Ooh, um, I was doing well. I was GG, like, run over time. Yeah. <laughs> that was, I mean, it, it, not not for nothing, but Mitch was uh, on a PB. A very, very good, very, very, very good really He was well. well within a reach of getting a PB, which um, this is, with a game this unforgiving, you really, uh, you got to take those times where you have that good early game through sends and, yeah. um, and ride it out. Um, I have very calm feet here, just saying. <laughs> Please. Fingers crossed. Please. Yeah, fingers crossed. Just gonna go back again to the secret exit. At least you guys will remember where the secret exit is yeah. um, for when you all play this at home. <laughs> oh, and it's the only exit that I like really, really need. Because yeah. I could just yeah. skip the exit, right? But I can't, so. <laughs> Ryu could. Yeah. <laughs> Worst case, we have like, we could no. just flip out a game. Oh, yeah! The, we're in! Oh, oh, we're, we're in! Yeah! Not, oh, hang yes. on. We have to make this clear. Not my fault. <laughs> Not my fault. I am so happy right now. So this section, uh, both the color palettes and the music, this was my shout-out to SMB3. And not a lot of people know, I actually made an SMB3 hack. It was my first ROM hack I ever made. So I have a deep uh, love and affinity for SMB3. And it's one of the best dang SMB3 ROM hacks that are out there, too. Eh, it kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a Very really nice. mean Kaizo block right there. Helper block. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I forgot, I'm sorry. Keep the meme going, man. Man, I mean, I'm happy for the one shot, but I, I do miss the synth. You know, I really wish <laughs> yeah. we would have gotten so, to the synth part of the song. This gold tape, if you grab this gold tape, uh, you will die. Uh, <laughs> You need to grab an off-screen key, uh, wrap around, and once again, when people die to that, hilarious. It's, it, it, you know, <laughs> legitimately, it is hilarious when people die to that. I had a pop-off because I one-shot that uh, end section and then died to the post-goal troll, and it was uh, not ideal. You should have gone through that up pipe. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Okay, so this level I consider has one of the most beautiful color palettes I have ever seen. Yeah. Um, Burns the eyes. <laughs> it reminds me of McDonald's. <laughs> so I was going for sort of, for sort of a fun house aesthetic, and uh, this is also one of the most trolly levels in the entire game. A number of players lost their minds in this level, didn't they? There's a lot of... <laughs> one of them is sitting on this couch. Oh my god. I think two of them are sitting on this couch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of things that, uh, thankfully, Mitch won't be going through that happen in this level if you don't know what to do. And um, it's, it's actually one of the simpler levels in the game when you know what you're doing. It's a really hard speed strat right there, yeah. and you got it. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. nice. It's very nice. And uh, let's see if he can get this jump. Okay, this is where all of the nonsense begins. Ooh. A dump. It's a dump. Okay, I, I'm going to try and count... 32 throws, and then we'll throw we'll throw them up. 32 throws. Oh, what am I doing? So this piece, which if you try to catch it, it actually runs away from you. Yeah. Uh, 
and uh, it's very confusing on your first playthrough. However, uh, that Mecha Koopa is the secret to how you actually end up hitting this P switch. Uh, no joke, I spent like like an hour just like, what do I do in this room? I have no idea. Um, my first time playing through it, and then this Mecha Koopa just falls through the roof and then hits me and kills me again. Here comes Swag. Oh. Oh. oh! oh no! Oh. Okay, but now we're in danger because. <laughs> no! no. <laughs> okay, so we get to see the troll well, now. Now you get to see the troll. <laughs> <laughs> this is just one of the trolls in this yeah. level. One out of six. Yeah, one out of six trolls in this level. So on Come your on. first playthrough, you have no idea what's happening, and it, it kind of looks like that's going to smash you into the wall. Well, um, I know. Will it come back? Did the Mecha Koopa will respawn. He will yes. respawn. Okay. There he is. Yo! 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 Worth it. Worth it. Worth it. That is the actually the hardest young. You don't have to reset. Guys. You don't have to reset. You're good. Yeah. Worth it. Yeah. No. <laughs> That yump is really underestimated. Yeah, per the rules, right. that takes the three minutes off your time, so I want to see that over there, guys. I think I'm stressed for this level the most. Okay, so we're actually returning to the level Deuce Layer. Um... <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We're all adults. Uh, vile sewage flows throughout this tunnel where most of Chat's additions ended up for this game. <laughs> So uh, <laughs> I made this. I made this uh, this entire game on Twitch Chat, and if you guys didn't know this, Twitch Chat it sucks at making levels. <laughs> so for oh. the most part, I ignored every single thing they ever said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it, I mean, the, the the rising lava there is exactly what you think it is, and again, the uh, the water is exactly what you think it yes. is. Yes. So this uh, section is like constantly being on a timer. He has to go through here, not too fast, not too slow, uh, to match where the pipes and water are exactly. He must obey the speed limit. Yes. Funny little okay, troll uh, right there. Helper yeah. dolphin. Yeah, that, that dolphin <laughs> helps you into the soft lock up there to let you know that uh, you were close. You were close. <laughs> An encouragement dolphin. <laughs> you almost made it, slugger. Okay, the second section is even tighter than the first one, and uh, we also threw in some extra tricks in here to make it extra difficult. Quick shell jump. So Mitch is actually going to purposely pause there for a moment to set up a later cycle. Ooh. Ooh. I paused too long. Yeah. So by pausing there very briefly, he's setting up the timer for later in the level so everything will work out perfectly for him. Um, but really, this level is very, very tight, and uh, it, it, it is one of the hardest levels in the game, if not the hardest. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. stressful level. You're constantly all over the place. Yeah, it's a lot of one-tile jumps, which, I mean, it's easy for us one-tile men up here. Uh, <laughs> oh, I meant that too. He's the one-tile man. Mitch is an honorary one-tile man. <laughs> Give up. Okay. Really nasty Kaizo Ooh. block right there. Ooh. Okay, this final sequence is a very tight sequence of jumps to make it the final pipe. That last rock can get you nice. And he makes it in. And then we get shot into the aftermath that all of Chat's suggestions have caused. <laughs> so if anybody ever says I'm like a not a nice guy, there's actually, if, if you don't make that final pipe, if you can't jump into there, a final <laughs> shell will fall so you have one final chance to shell jump and make it up into the pipe. So really, I'm like a really nice guy. I You're think. a merciful yeah, god. Yeah. Huh? Merciful god. He's a merciful yeah. god. Praise be. This is a lot of people's favorite level, I'd say, Berkwood. Yeah, yeah so... This level, um, you know, I wouldn't say this was people's favorite level at first. A <laughs> yes. lot of people despise this level at first. Um, I still hate it. <laughs> That's no, I, really hard, that Goomba jump. I would totally agree with that. Like, on the casual playthrough, this is probably my least favorite, but it's probably my favorite in the speed run. Yeah. Um, backwards Goombas. Why are they backwards? It's good. So you want to explain, like, I, I know you talk about how this level has such a different pace to kind of, like, break up the monotony. Yeah, I think if uh, when I was making this game, I, I at this point, I think I'd made like two or three levels uh, um, when I actually started making this one. And I was worried that if every level is fast, every level is go, 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 then uh, the game would become sort of samey and it wouldn't have enough variety. So this level, I purposely wanted to make it a little bit slower paced. And when I did that, I actually made like a really interesting speedrun level. And there's all kinds of strats everywhere in this game. Okay, so that mushroom that goes up from behind the tree, there's actually a, a Kaizo block beneath the midway, and if you hit it, then that that uh, that mushroom will kill you. Helper block. That's right. no, no, that one doesn't help. <laughs> this is a genius strat by Mitch. He actually screen wraps right there to cause a double E, 
uh, which allows them to save about seven seconds right there, uh, skipping another E. Oh! What? Got him! D-pad. <laughs> so those final jumps are probably the hardest jumps in the level. They're deceptively tight. And uh, we're actually helping Yoshi grow up. We're feeding him to become a, a nice big boy. And uh, really, there's only one thing to do with him once Yoshi's grown up, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a tool, not a jewel, guys. To see that strat one more time, respawning the mushroom. So I had not seen that until no. I came to GDQ and Mitch showed it to me. That was a new one. Oh! oh. Bonked you I was wondering if I was going to mess that up, too. <laughs> so those Lakitus that are bouncing up and down in the lava, those are actually dolphins, but uh, Super Mario World reuses tile sets and graphics. So uh, in this tile set, that's just what dolphins look like, and I think it's really funny. As you can see, nice and consistent. So that's that's always good. It was just that was like such a galaxy brain strat when you showed it to me. I felt so dumb that I didn't find it. There we go. Oh, oh. oh. oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Saved. That, that was good. calculated. This was is calculated. The final eat. Oh Yoshi. Watch out! <laughs> so you're not gonna get two people with that. <laughs> so that uh, that's sort of like a, that final troll there. It's just a, the entire level I've been sending poison mushrooms at you. Uh, there I send a one-up at you. If you jump backwards, there's an invisible block that kills you. Oh, God. <laughs> well, that's the helper block. It helps you not to be scared. <laughs> <laughs> Teaches you to face your fears. Exactly. Secret. This level. This. Yeah, this level is definitely one of the hardest in the speedruns and features uh, probably the hardest of a lot of hard doors. And um, I know people are going to be like, doors aren't hard, but trust me, they are so hard to go into. And this one is uh, the cream of the crop. Yeah. yeah. So at this point in, in development, I just really fallen in love with making vertical sections that go down. And uh, I, I also fell in love with the idea of using the spider webs as, uh, as nets. So I reskinned the graphics and uh, made them act like that. So. Uh, a lot of a lot of really tight jumps in this section, and uh, this coming up here is everybody's favorite item: the disco shell or the multicultural shell. <laughs> uh, Mitch's strat there is terrifying to me. Yeah, <laughs> right. It's so terrifying. <laughs> okay, this is coming up on probably the worst door in the game. Oh, oh my god! god. Dang it. <laughs> and as you can see, there's no checkpoint, so he has to go through the whole thing again. Yeah. Yeah, and this level is very difficult because you have to constantly be uh, pressing and letting go of the up button to grab onto those nets. And uh, it just causes a lot of issues when you're trying to throw things on a horizontal plane. A lot of runs have come here literally to die in people's yes. speed runs. Yeah, it's definitely another one of those stopper levels. You don't get any breaks in this game. Like, like literally no jump to you. It's like, that's a trivial jump. Like, every nope. single jump. Because I spent so much time on every single jump, so I, I had time to make them all as bad as I could. <laughs> that stresses me out, Mitch. <laughs> I, I hate it. Coming up on the door again. Oh. Oof. Nice. Very nice. So that section requires you to manipulate the disco shell exactly to give you just enough time, and there's not enough room to kill the disco shell there. So here we're going to see uh, one of those three boo fights in the game, I believe. Uh, this one is unique. You can see there's a ring of smaller boos surrounding him, and you have to constantly weave in and out of the boo circle as you fight the boo uh, and get all the hits you need. Uh, so can't go too high either. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> there are spikes above and below the screen that kind of keep you in the middle of the screen the entire time. There's also a uh, oh. one final Kaizo block that he has to avoid <laughs> right there. As, as far as I'm aware, that's the only Kaizo block in a boss fight yeah. I've ever yeah. seen. <laughs> very yeah. nice. Very, very nice fight on, a ver on probably one of the hardest exits in the game. This exit coming up is one of my favorites. It is four rooms, I believe. Yeah, it's four rooms, and each room kind of has like a trope to like um, to, to trick your mind, and you'll see right off the bat. Yeah, yeah. In this level, I sort of wanted to tear up the rule book and just kind of throw in all kinds of things that would be sort of tricks and traps, and we'll sort of see them in each section as they come. 
So here you'll notice the ground is literally exploding as he moves. Um, oh just, my gosh, yes, thank you. That is a very hard jump. The Doritos, man. So I'm difficult. so glad that's over. Get it out of here. So this room, uh, this is going to look a little strange. The munchers in this in this room are safe, and the ground explodes under you and uh, kills you. So everywhere he goes here is moving from spike to muncher. This water is also reverse, um, just because, of course, it's all you know, why could you just swim in normal water? Exactly. I mean, you could. It's really fun to pull the wings off flies. You know? Also, that door. What? What? Doesn't, what? doesn't exist. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this section is just hard. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a layer two section. Or th this whole um, room right here is layer two. You're gonna see he's gonna come up and it's gonna just be a layer two slamming up and down, and he's gonna have to like time his jump so perfectly to not get hit. Yeah, this uh, second platform coming up here is so difficult. Yeah. This so part is, this, is all this... about timing. Oh, Very beautiful. nice. Wow. Yeah. If you're a little too early, if you're a little too late, uh, that part can just go so wrong. A lot of weird things happening in this section. In this one, Mario can wall jump, and he can also cling to the ceiling everywhere where those uh, blue blocks are. The music playing right now is from uh, Shinobi 3. This is another port done by a composer. Shout out to the composer again. And one last jump. Oh, it very nice. barely gets it. Do tip. tip. Nice. That was nice. <laughs> the important part? And Yo, he gets oh, it. Wow. Two for two. Two, wow. for two. two for two. Two for two. Wow. Two for two. I don't know if we've ever I really don't want to reset. <laughs> I got one. Wow. And so if you, that section, the one-up is there to make you hesitate, and if you hesitate, uh, the ground falls away under you and kills you. That's so, so funny. It's so, it's so... It really is funny. <laughs> <laughs> We're now returning to the level. We have to beat the normal exit now. This is one of my favorite aesthetics in a level, just this, like, deep red. The background, fun fact for you, is actually the background from water levels, just uh, recolored. <laughs> that is true. So I, I'm a fond, I'm very fond of reverse engineering things to be from one thing to be something else. So I took the water background, I smoothed out the color palette, and turned it into these sort of ominous cliffs. Added the lightning, and boom. Okay, this part is difficult to time. Oh! 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 <laughs> nice. Uh, very nice. So it's that, really hard to not die there. Yeah. yeah. So when this game first came out, you know, like, the rumors about, you know, the, the creation of the game were being spread amongst Twitch. You know, like, a bunch of false rumors. Like, there's going to be, you know, five fishing boos in one level. We're like, <laughs> oh, you know, that can't exist. And lo and behold, um, that level does exist, and we'll see it coming <laughs> shortly up. These are fishing bones. <laughs> My mistake. Yes. Okay, fishing boo is notoriously difficult to manipulate. It depends on Mario's movement and the location of the screen, and it's just rather unpleasant at all times. Nice. This last section is just extremely tight, and each jump has to be pretty perfect, because, spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hear the P-switch, right? It's just, <laughs> you never know. Do we have time for a quick donation? Yes. yes. Sure. We have $20 from Viva Saika that says, watching Poo's play for vids of Grand Poo World 2 is the most fun I've ever had watching Kaizo games. A big thanks to Poo and Barb and the entire Kaizo community for so many hours of entertainment. Also, marbles. <laughs> <laughs> so this level is titled uh, Danger Zone. Poo, could you tell us a little bit about Danger Zone? So, um, you know, I'm, I'm a bit of a ROM hack aficionado myself, and uh, I like to go through and occasionally just play some of the, the random, uh, you know, non-Mario uh, fan-made games out there. And uh, one day I came across this game called Danger Zone, and then my... <laughs> that was the last you heard of me for 24 hours, so... <laughs> <laughs> It needs to say, uh, shout out to Danger Zone and its sequel, Danger Zone 2. So this level is all featured around the rope, and ropes have appeared in a lot of Super Mario World hacks, and really I just wanted this level to be sort of a fun, fast-paced fast uh, uh, platforming level. The rope where it's moving faster is uh, sliding on a tile called 1F0, and uh, that tile doesn't appear in vanilla Super Mario World the way it's used in ROM hacks. Nice. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, nice. that one shot, baby! Nice. Oh, man!
We are hot. cruising along right now. That was hot. I'm good. Yeah, dude. The final wall of chainsaws is there to make you uh, poop your pants. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and it does. <laughs> um, one cool thing Barb did here, if you see these pipes that are kind of scattered out um, throughout the overworld, they actually lead you back to the starting area where you can save if you have a checkpoint. Mm -hmm. So let's say you're, you know, you're spending hours and hours on a level, but you got a checkpoint. You actually don't lose it, and that's one of the, uh, the cool like quality of life things Barb does. This the level's the best. <laughs> the unfortunate reality of the overworld is that everybody just got lost on it. Yeah. <laughs> I think we need to do another shout out for Composer that he um, composed this song. It's an absolute original from Composer. Mm -hmm. So, completely 100% yeah. original. So, this, le <laughs> this level uh, features the use of the least jank item in Super Mario World, the blue block. Zero jank involved in those. Hard door. No, he Hard it. door, baby. He gets it. I think there's a two frame window to enter that door, two, two or three frames. Death. Yeah. Intentional death. All right, so Mitch is going to take an intentional death here. I'm glad you got the midway first. <laughs> Just spending my money, okay. The reason why he's taking a death there is to reset the boss RNG. So, with that, so if he one-shots it, he's going to get an unfavorable boss pattern. By dying there, he's resetting the RNG to make it easier and uh, faster to kill. This part, you are racing the blue block up. Nice. We should also know look at that, that level. Yeah, the level is timed also. Got to be very careful to not open. And look at right, right three seconds. Time. Very nice. Oh, that was hot. That was hot. Mitch, slow down. You're making this look too easy. Yeah, that was hot. <laughs> so this is not your uh, traditional Resnor fight. Uh, it's too slow. That's too slow. The Resnors are sitting atop a note block, and to kill them, you have to hit the note block three times for each Resnor. So that's a total of 12 hits you're required to get. You are also on a timer in this section as well. You only have 35 seconds to complete it. This is fine. Help me! <laughs> I can't hit <laughs> I just gotta got get it. rid of one of them. There we oh. go. You got it. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is going to be super tight. No, we got it. Not, not the 21. <laughs> not the 21. So Mitch, the, Mitch's fastest time beating that is with 21 seconds remaining on the timer. Uh, and that's just an insane time. I think that might be the fastest I've ever heard. Isn't there a portrait in this coming up room that he should probably just take a quick look at? I believe there is. Like, oh, right, right. Go, go, go up. Yeah, just go, go up. up. You're going to want to start select after you do that, though. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, 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 let's start select real quick. Oh, man. <laughs> Who's this guy I... again? Uh, some loser. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So that is uh, three cats watching Top Gun. Uh, Wasn't he the coach of a team that was here or something? He was. He was. Oh. <laughs> so this is uh, by far everybody's favorite level in the game. Uh, it is a... Very lengthy, and uh, I call it an angry cape level because after I made Grand Pool World One, who said, uh, oh, you know, Barb sucks a cape. So, uh, I'm on quotes. So, yeah, so that made me mad, so I made a really, really hard cape level to get revenge on everybody. It's true. Um, in my splits for this level, I actually, it's actually called Barb Can Cape. Uh, so, in his inevitable sequel, he doesn't feel slighted and feel he has to uh, prove something. We can Apology just, accepted. Yes, we can just have a normal cape level. This, so this is a. Oh, oh go, go ahead. ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, so this tunnel, you're going to see, uh, it's not seeing something you see often in uh, Super Mario World ROM hacks, where he's speeding up and slowing down everywhere with the cape. Uh, and if you don't move at the exact right speed, you'll get caught. Yes! Wow. Oh, oh my gosh! That's the, yeah, that's the hardest section, too. That is the yeah. hardest section yeah. in this cape level. Those first two rooms, there's no checkpoints, so you have to repeat the entire first two rooms over and over if you don't move. That's so nice of you. Mm -hmm. Very nice of you. You don't often see uh, ah, I don't cape know platforming know. section, so in this section I wanted to uh, utilize the cape in a way that I hadn't really seen too often in Kaizo ROM hacks. Yeah, it should be noted, you really, you have to get like this perfect jump off the disco shell in order for you to go over those spikes. Wow. Speedy boy. Um, coming up at the end here too, there's actually kind of like this little trolley spike that Mitch is going to have to avoid as he gets rid of the turn blocks. Oh. oh. I didn't even let go fly, I would just go down. <laughs> Oi, just admit defeat. It's worth pointing out as well that this, these backgrounds, uh, if you're noticing the castle background is uh, custom made by me, and you can also see the clouds outside too. I just wanted uh, the full immersive gaming Oh my experience. god, I never noticed I the never clouds. noticed either. Oh my god, that's so good. I put a lot of work into this and I want everybody to know. 
<laughs> the background is really amazing. Oh, very nice. Very, very. Yes, yeah, so you have to get like the perfect platform drop right there to get that spike to line up great. I love that in this, once you get to this level, the music changes because it really changes that monotony of hearing the same song over and yeah, over. Yeah, if you have a really long level, I think it's appropriate to uh, change the music up and give the player something new to listen to. Uh, this section is like my small shout out to uh, Panga World made by Link Dead. I did it All again, okay? What? I didn't even realize. Oh, oh. You know what? The level giveth and it taketh away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is another really challenging section where you have to change your direction in flight. Uh, in vanilla Super Mario World, it's actually a 50-50 shot when you twirl with the cape, whether you're going to turn left or right. So I'm a really nice guy, and I made it not 50-50. So if you turn, you will turn. Oh, I knew I went too high there. This level, I tell you guys. This is a reminder again that this is a lot harder than it looks. Very, very difficult. Yeah, this whole game is just ridiculously hard, and uh, Mitch is kind of slaying it right now. Yeah, he, yeah. he's really <laughs> just making this look like a piece of cake. Yeah. There's probably someone in chat that's like, oh, I'm gonna play Grand Pool too. Yeah, it's, it's, it, we can't emphasize enough. It is one of the probably five or ten hardest Kaizo ROM hacks out there. So you might not know this, but if you grab a, a vine or a cage, you can t maintain your flight. You can also fly with items in your hands as well. Very nice. So Mitch has completed four rooms. He's got about 30 left to go. So we're almost <laughs> 30 <there>. minutes. <laughs> no, he's got two rooms left. Two rooms left. Another cool thing I like about this level is each section kind of like um, showcases a unique concept that you can do with the cape. Yeah. Like it's not you're just flying through and then you know it's it's all totally. Oh oh. Swag. Are you you never seen that before? Oh, swag. Yeah. Okay, this is the final room. It's another vertical going down section, which I really fell in love with when I was making this game. So you're going to see he's going to twirl this Bowser Jr. statue, or the Bowser statue, and he's going to change his jump. See, I didn't bother adding in the motor skills patch, so I just make you do it by letting go of these statues. I'm too lazy. Beautiful. Uh, 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 I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> We're going to say oh. hi to our buddy Yoshi. Let's save him. Okay, we'll save him. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Uh, so if you remember the ropes from Sen's Fortress, the tight ropes, uh, I kind of use them again here. Um, or, okay, I will admit, the, the troll in that level, when you fall through the tight rope, is really funny. That <laughs> it got, it really got funny. me. It got <laughs> everybody. We everybody have known, right? Everybody like, except Laser Belt. She's the only one who got through it. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> it's to help you by teaching you that sometimes you need to slow down in life exactly. and appreciate the finer things. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like your positive... Uh, Vibes. Yeah, I'm a okay. very positive person. This <laughs> is a very good and unique level. The gimmick here is the best. The best. <laughs> I think this is known as the fan favorite level, Idle Hands. Yeah. Um, so there's it's gonna melt a, your mind. You're gonna see this clock, and what this clock does is it freezes every sprite you see um, on screen. This is so cool. You're gonna hear a little ticker in the back, and once it clicks, I think like three or four times. Oh, oh I tried to go back up, respawn them. You actually use that as an audio cue to know when to um, basically progress further. This, uh, the clock was first featured in a ROM hack called Ketastrophe. Uh, Ketastrophe doesn't use it in sort of like a puzzle scenario, and that's one of my favorite ROM hacks. I wanted to use it in a platforming scenario by forcing you to freeze sprites and use them in various ways. So all these jumps would just have been impossible without that ASM. Uh, if you notice, the hands on that clock are upside down. That is a broken clock. If you try to hit it, it doesn't work. The bullets kill you. Oh, Yoshi. Oh, it's so cute. He's actually helping. Oh, uh, no, he's not. <laughs> nice. That makes that a three. You're going to be coming up to, like, one of the meanest doors in this game. Oh, this one's hard. <laughs> nice. Oh, and he nails oh, it. Nice. He nails it. That was so good. There's a lot of comedy in that checkpoint, and it's a, it's, a, it's a pretty deep inside joke at this point, I think, within our community. And uh, we'll, you got to play the whole Grand Pooh World series to really get it. Got one of them. That was an interesting hitbox. Oh, you can do it. This is going to be tough. So this fight is another Resnor fight that still has a quick timer. I'd give up. So. I'm out. <laughs> He's going to take an intentional death there because the timer, even if he'd hit the Resnors, the timer would not allow yeah. him. He needs about to have six or seven seconds left on the timer after killing all the Resnors to survive. 
Getting those double hits is very hard, and it saves a lot of time for every... Oh, oh my gosh, he keeps doing that. Oi! He can get one more. Oh. Oh. Come on! What Just number are we at, guys? 28. 28? Oh. Not bad. Just occasionally, these Reznors will give you a fireball that's just so mean. <laughs> All right. There we go. Ooh. There we go. Very nice. 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 12 job, seconds dude. to spare. All right, now, here, here is where the game really, in my opinion, gets really, really good. Um, because this is definitely my favorite thing that's ever been in one of these Kai one of these little weird Kaizo games that we play. <laughs> um, should you, you want to just go ahead and, and, and start it off with it? You know, I guess. Uh, so the, as the game has been progressing, one thing that you're not going to really know from watching a speed run is that there is a gigantic puzzle sort of spread throughout the entire game, and you don't really understand that until you get to this level. Uh, you're going to see Mitch going directly to a secret exit. This secret exit took people hours to find. And uh, it leads you to, I guess we could call it like an escape room yes. within, the, within the game. And the escape room, well, we're not going to be able to really do it justice here because it took various creators or, or players 12 hours, 10 hours, 8 hours to solve. Uh, so we're going to climb these invisible blocks up here. Shout out to Mario Maker. <laughs> And uh, can we talk a little bit about your neck in this portrait, maybe? Uh, yeah, I was lifting before this picture was taken, so... <laughs> Mitch is going to do a little swag in my mouth right there. Ooh, yeah, a little swag in your mouth. Swag <laughs> Throw it up. So this level is the Orbliet. This is where you must uh, solve the puzzles and find the answers to advance and uh, find the final Peace Witch Palace. Uh, we're not going to really see much of it because there is a secret code in the game and Mitch is just going to zoom directly to the end. Um, but ma many people on Twitch listen to this music for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> you should have done it for charity. It was for charity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll hit the barb dab for you. All right. Three for three. But first. Yeah, first we're going to make a little stop. <laughs> So there were some people with Grand World 1 who put forth such an effort in playing the game and helping that I wanted to give them special shout-outs. Uh, this is the Hall of Champions, and there are portraits of Laser Belch, who is the world record holder for Grand World 1, and Dode, who was the uh, first person Where to beat Grand guys? World 1. And there's also uh, this really ugly guy. <laughs> wait, wait for it. Get out of my room. <laughs> All right, I'll get out, I'll get out. <laughs> you, can, you can start select. <laughs> so when I, when I created this game and it, it was released and everybody was playing it, nobody knew anything about that. Uh, first, let's see if we get the yump. Ah! Oh, oh, reset, reset, reset. 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 <laughs> so, so nobody knew that my voice was in the game. It was actually the help of Kevin M who helped me get that in there. And uh, the reactions of people finding, hearing my hearing my voice in the game. I thought you hacked my Discord. I know, that's what there. I thought. I thought you, I, <laughs> that's exactly what I thought though. He was I, I was like, Barb, how'd you get it here? <laughs> So it now scared that we, me. <laughs> now that we've hit the final piece, which we can now proceed to beat this level proper. Um, this level is pretty unique amongst Kaizo games because uh, there are paths within this level. There's actually, uh, I, I did the math, there is 192 different ways you could play and beat this level because of all the different rooms. And the really, the really funny thing is that all of the rooms are more or less like the same time. So everybody who speeds run, speed runs this game kind of does a different room. And Mitch does my favorite set of rooms, I think, that I've seen anybody do. I will actually concur with that assessment. Mitch does the, the swaggiest of the rooms. The swaggiest, definitely. Yeah. yeah. I definitely do the easiest ones. He, he goes for the, the most swaggiest. consistent. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Good point. Don't want to don't down. That so once, key you grab. A, once you use a key, you can only go in that section, and you're also locked in once you get the midway, so you can't go back and change your mind and say, like, no, nah, I, like I don't like this room. I'm going to a different one. In this section, we're using this block to move all, all across this lava, and we need our keys everywhere, so... Hard jump coming up. Very nice. The choice of four. This is a vertical this is my, section with uh, layer two scrolling left and right. Uh, it's kind of an homage to a level in Grand World One, 
and I really liked that one, so I kind of just made it again. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. But a little bit different. <laughs> I love this part. There's a really tight section coming up right nice. here. Yeah, there, perfect. Very nice. The, the, this is where Mitch kind of wanders off and does his own room. Yeah, to like. I don't know. I don't know anyone else who does this particular room. Laser. Laser. I was going to say, Laser actually does this room now, too. So this session is kind of a combination of the ropes from Sen's Fortress and also the Mecha Koopas from uh, Pooh's Laughter House. Nails it. Fine. What? Oh. 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 <laughs> what, you, what, you, what was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> I cursed him. <laughs> All right, let's do that again. Without the jump. That one wasn't me. There's no troll there. <laughs> Don't play me for that one. Yeah, this one's... Then this one's turn back. Yeah, very nice. I forgot the turn back, so I jump. So almost every runner who runs this game does the Thwomp Room, because the Thwomp Room is pretty fast. And it's also the easiest. Um, but they're also cowards, because this one is <laughs> by far the coolest. I don't think anyone's disagreeing with that. This is... <laughs> Yeah. It is the fastest, though. So this section, you're going to see a combination of the clock from Idle Hands and uh, Bowser's Big Balls. That's a really hard jump. Yeah. Very well done. So once you do those first four sections, um, you end up, everyone comes here. No matter what, you don't get a pick. You just get sent to this last This room is required, yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, I did let go, though. I, yeah. I am learning. <laughs> uh, that final jump is pretty awkward and honestly pretty janky to get to get the line up. Yeah. You can, you can oi me for that one. That's fine. I remember when you were first making this game, um, there was a no-no bro-bro list. And I, I think on that list was shell jumps. And I think right at the end, he's like, you know what? I just got to put some in. Yeah, towards the end, I've, I've been working on this for thousands of hours. And I'm like, ah, I don't care anymore. Do it! No. Oh. <laughs> Helper fish. Yeah, that, that fish is uh, there to congratulate you on a job well done. You've gotten through the level. All right. OK. Nice cathedral coming up. So at this point, if you haven't solved the puzzle, this is where the mystery really deepens. Uh, you're going to see something kind of unusual here in just one moment. Uh, there's a, a large door. You might think the boss is there, but that's actually not where the boss is. Uh, shout out to Zelda, too. There's just a straight up hidden wall that you go through right there. <laughs> This is like the only thing I don't want to do, but like I want to do it. Oh, see, I you love it. that. This is my I know, favorite, I, like, yeah, I love my favorite it. part. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you never know. It's the best. So this Wait, is the first try has to be small. <laughs> oh, oh my oh. gosh! Oh god. So this is the final boss of Grand Portal 2. Uh, this is Bowser, uh, created by me and uh, Kaizo Man, and it was an insane amount of work on both of our parts. But Kaizo Man deserves nearly all the credit for this. You're gonna see Bowser doing some pretty insane oh, stuff. Oh, dude, in fight. the AI right there. Barb's actually controlling this Bowser through his pocket. Yeah. Um, and this Bowser actually learns as you play it, so it'll start dodging you the more and more you uh, you die. So you really want to get the first shot. Are you gonna one shot this? Oh my god. Oh man, that's a good lineup. That's a good lineup. No! Oh. Oh. Oh, he's got a jump at you attack. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so there is a hidden mushroom in the ceiling off of that uh, chain. Uh, a number of players beat this entire fight and never even knew it was there. <laughs> uh, one thing you'll see during this fight is that Bowser changes colors. The colors kind of let you know how many hits Bowser has left to kill. Uh, Five wall. <laughs> And you see, uh, Bowser has a lot of very difficult <laughs> to avoid attacks. Silly. There's so many different ones. And as you can see, he takes like 7,000 hits. So. <sighs> the random. This is the Bowser's final phase. Greed! The greed. In Bowser's final phase, the fire tracks you from the ceiling and falls constantly. So the final, the final section of the, of the fight, uh, it just increasingly gets worse and worse and worse. You want to end the fight as quickly as possible. Ooh. Very nice. Ah, the ghost. You're gonna see him sort of juggling items. It's a lot more. It's a lot more difficult than it looks. By doing so, he's trying to preserve as many hits as he can to hit Bowser as fast and as often as possible. 
You can pretty much hit Bowser constantly in the fight. And that's by design. You see that the ground changed color. This is actually ice physics. And it doesn't seem like it affects you that much, but ice is one of the worst trolls in this fight. It just makes everything harder. Ooh. Nice jump. <laughs> nice jump. Oh. Oh. Uh, any other attack. Uh, and this is what I'm talking about. This Bowser has this, like, send it AI where it starts to learn as you play, like T-1000 or something. We should also say that this Bowser is incredibly RNG, and the fact that this is in a marathon is pretty insane. Yes. Barb, can you just let him beat it already? <laughs> no. Barb has a second controller <laughs> that he's playing with right now, controlling it. I've beaten this boss probably over a hundred times now, and no matter what, there's still always that chance, even if you play flawlessly, that he's just gonna give you a pattern that is absolutely unavoidable. You're gonna die. Yeah. My goodness, he's but, on something today. No matter how many hit points, even if you have a mushroom, uh, the oh, you're gonna see the hammers. A, that's the Australian hammer. It, uh, it's a boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Uh, uh, oh my gosh. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh no! My God. Come on! Anything but the hammer. The hammer. I've been so close oh, so many times. Hammer. You've been at seven hits three times now. Yeah. Yeah, the first time you go through this too, like you're like, how many hits does this thing take? Like when does it stop? <laughs> yeah. I will say, however, that like even as difficult as this boss is, it is most definitely the most fun I've ever had in SMW, Kaizo, for the, sure. The boss is still easier than the puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> no Don Fled Ruth. <laughs> oh, five oh. walls. Oh. So no matter, even if you have a mushroom, the walls can instant kill you pretty much at any point in the fight. So it's really, really dangerous. It's probably his most dangerous attack. Come on, Bowser. Mm. <laughs> mm. Nice, nice. Oh, oh, trying to jump. And that's an that's an example of why the walls are just so so dangerous in this fight. Let's go, man! I believe you got this. You got this. Aren't your words, Barb, that those walls are a testament Whoa. to human greed? <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> Two. <laughs> this pattern you're getting, man, you haven't got a first shell. One of the biggest killers in this fight is greed because there's so many opportunities to hit Bowser and if you reach just a little much to get a hit, uh, that's when you find yourself getting five walled or four walled and then the fight is just over immediately. <laughs> It, it, oh, his God. hardest like thing to block is the straight jump over, and yeah. he can do it at any time. You got it. Come on, give me a shell. <laughs> Five wall. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the timer is not over yet. The timer is not over yet. Save or kill, save or kill, save or kill. Are we going to be saving or killing the Yoshi? All right, so I do believe that there is a Yoshi at the end of this, and it was very close, but you're going to save that Yoshi 6,645 to 6,565. Save just wins by that little bit. So after such a hard boss fight, you think that oh, I beat the game, but no, I wanted one. I wanted to send you packing with one final section and one final uh, torture chamber. Escape. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Sh shout out to Super Metroid right there. We. We're saving them. Are we saving them? Saving. Saving. I don't know about that. Time. That is time. 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 Yo, GG, man. Thank you. That was awesome. Thank you. Incredible run. That was really good. Yeah. That was really good. Dude, he was in a groove in the yeah. middle. Are you <laughs> Fitting crash. <laughs> That's uh, 
Grand Prix World too. Yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> These guys were awesome. Come on, give it up for them. Uh, we didn't do anything. <laughs> we didn't do anything. We just hung out. Helper couch. things here. Let's hear it for Mitch and the lovely commentators as well. Thank you all so much for that awesome commentary of that run. And also shout outs to Tech also for replacing the Super Nintendo quickly.